Hey everyone, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to answer the question, do triathletes change their clothes during a race? So I'm going to answer, I'll give you the answer for what the elite athletes do, and then I'll give you an answer for what you might want to do if you're doing your first triathlon and you, you want to know what to do. So first of all, let's talk about the elites. The elites do not change their outfit at any point during the race simply because they don't have time. So in a something like an ITU World Triathlon race, we've just had World Triathlon Leeds here in Leeds. And uh, for example, Taylor Spivey smashed through T2, the second transition, in 14 seconds. They're just There isn't enough time. You get your bike racked, you take your helmet on, you put your trainers on, and then you're out. You don't have time to change your clothes. And even up to Ironman, where maybe the margins, the winning margins will be a couple of minutes, still the elite athletes want to get through as fast as they can so they won't spend any time changing their clothes. And to do that, they'll probably normally wear a tri-suit. So I've got my tri-suit here. You can see it's a complete thing, top, bottom. Should have zoomed the camera out a bit more. And so you can wear this in the swim. It's really fast drying fabric that dries really easily. And it's also got a, a small chamois in. So if I open it up, it's got a little bit of padding here, as you can see, which just helps cushion. So it's not like padded cycling shorts. It'd be a massive padded thing, but it's enough to give you a bit of padding while you're on the bike. So you can wear your tri-suit the whole time you wear it in the swim, you come out of the swim, you get on your bike, you've got your bit of padding, you get off, it's not enough padding to get in the way during the run, so you can do the whole outfit in this. And that's predominantly what the elite athletes will wear. Some elite athletes will go without the padding, so they will just learn to tolerate sitting on a bike for an hour or two in what is essentially a swimming costume. And it sounds pretty uncomfortable to me, but if that's your job, then you get used to it. So that's the elite athletes. Well, what about the age group athletes? Well, this will depend on what distance you're racing. So short format, we're talking about things like sprint and standard Olympic distance. Then there probably isn't any kind of changing facilities. So you'll just have to change in transition and there's no nudity allowed there. So you can't do a full costume change. So for men, that means keeping your genitals covered at all time and for women that means covering the top half as well with something like a sports bra or a tri suit because you're not allowed to get topless bit of a, a gender difference there triathlon triathlon is normally a really equal sport but there is a, a bit of difference here um so well, what can you do about this well you could of course get yourself a tri suit but they're expensive so uh, sometimes a cheap alternative is just to get yourself a little pair of tri shorts. So again, these are things that you can wear in the swim. And again, they've got that little bit of padding so you can wear them on the bike, but not enough padding that they get away in the run. So you could do something like that. So just that for the men, that and maybe a sports bra for the women. And then you can put a different top over it. So you could uh, just swim, um, just swim with that if um, probably wouldn't work if you're a woman you probably need a tri suit if you're a woman it's just luckier if you're a man another another case of privilege here that you can wear shorts and just swim topless and then when you get to t1 throw a t-shirt over the top or a cycling jersey over the top and then do the rest of the race with that but you would keep the same the same bottoms on the whole time just because there is nowhere for you to change unless you could maybe take a changing robe into transition, but I've never seen anyone do that. So that's how you would normally deal with that. Now, if you're racing long format, so here we're talking about Ironman distance and you're talking about being on the bike for six, seven, eight hours, then you might want to do a full costume change. And at bigger races, uh, 
by bigger I really mean longer races, they tend to have some changing facilities. So at middle and long distance races, there'll normally be individual gendered changing tents where you can go in there, you can get fully naked and you can change your outfit. So if you want to do the swim in one thing and then you want to put some really thick padding cycling shorts and a proper cycling jersey on, you can do that. And then if you want to change outfits again completely for the run, you can go back into the changing tents. Now that takes ages. I did that at my first middle distance race and I think I was like eight minutes in T1 and seven minutes in T2 because I had to go to my bike, get my stuff, go to the changing tent, come back. It was a total mess. It took ages. My total transition time was 15 minutes and my friend beat me because he was faster in transition. But if you're not worried about time, you can take that time, go to the changing tents if they're there which they typically are at long format races, but not always, so do check. And if you can, then you can do a full outfit change. But again, most triathletes will just wear tri shorts or a tri suit and wear that for the entire race. Hopefully that clarified a few things for you. If so, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you have more questions, want more advice on triathlon and triathlon training, then hit the subscribe button because that's what my channel is all about. And I would love to have you in another video.